Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is gonna be a really random video because I painted my toes, right? And I'm like, I have a lot of freaking nail polish in this little uh, container. And I got this shelf from uh, Big Lots. It's like the four tier like shelf because I seen it when I went the other day and they had a $15 off of a $60 purchase if you were like a rewards member, which I am. So I picked it up because I didn't really like the storage containers I had in this spot. I just thought it looked like super odd. So I kind of want to use this section here to like display my nail polishes because I um, have so many and I don't like see them when they're in here so I thought if I have them like displayed it might make me use them more often I guess and I got this little uh, storage container or organizer from TJ Maxx and the drawers slide out and yeah so we're gonna use that and then these I just have like three pair of glasses um because I wear several different pairs usually I switch them and I just needed somewhere to put them so this acrylic organizer I believe also came from TJ Maxx either TJ Maxx or Gabe's is normally where I get them because they're super affordable so we're gonna just start throwing these up there and um yeah we're gonna just organize organize this stuff um I don't really want to like talk about them a lot I don't know I mean they're just really random I guess so this is what I actually used to paint my toes it's this pretty like reddish glittery shade and this is heart and console by um OPI and it's the infinite shine too I bought this at TJ Maxx for $4.99 because the tag is still on it so we're just gonna start and then these come out too which is nice so it's a pretty neat little organizer here so let's just get into it this one I guess I could do like a nail polish collection while I'm at it but this is a Koki um cosmetics polish in the shade Oceana Oceana Ocean and I don't know how to pronounce it like an ocean I don't know I have so many freaking nail polishes it's ridiculous this one came from Dollar Tree the color vibe this is a pretty color this is glitterific and I have a lot of Dollar Tree polishes this one is like a baby pink it's called meow another Koki cosmetics on the hunt Some of these I haven't used in a really long time, so they've kind of settled a little bit like this one, but I don't know. Nail polish I feel like doesn't really ever go bad. This is one of my favorite colors. This is OPI also. It's called That's Hilarious. So it looks like I can fit about five in a row depending on the size of the bottle this is a dollar tree polish oh my gosh this is a cute orange color a, a lot of the opi polishes i buy at tj maxx this is in the shade trading paint how much I actually have this one's super old I'm actually gonna get rid of this one this one definitely does not look the best sinful colors clear coat the 
this is a matte clear coat. This is a Morgan Taylor polish. This is one of my favorites too. This is called Singing Queen. This is another Dollar Tree polish. one might need thrown out also so we're going to probably now this one should maybe still be okay for a little bit is this one that I already have no these are different See, some of these just I've had for so long, they don't really look like they're that good. And, oh my God, that one was open. Hello, that one was open. This one, we might have to get rid of this one. Usually if you give them a good shake though, they go back to normal. Wow, this one is so old. But it looks fine. This is a wet and wild polish. Like, talk about old. TJ Maxx in a set. The mini polishes are so freaking cute, honestly. This is one of my favorites too. This is OPI Let Your Love Shine. I'm trying to shake them up because to see if they're still okay. This is a cute one. This is from the dollar store, Mermaid Magic. So far, I only really have oops. So far, I only have one that I really need to get rid of. This one I've had for a really long time. Yeah, see, like you shake them up a little bit. And they're fine. This is a pretty little neutral color. It is Barefoot in Barcelona by OPI. 
And it's crazy because I forgot how many I actually have. I bought these like sinful colors matte last year around Halloween. Um, I got this orange one, the clear coat matte, and then the black. These were like a Halloween collection. This pure ice is like, I don't even know how old, but it still looks good. This is a pretty polish too. This one I got from, this is sashi, Sassy and Chic. So this came from the Dollar Tree. This one's so old. Yeah, this one's bad. This one I'm pretty sure I got when I was um, trying to work in a nail salon because I did kind of like an apprenticeship or whatever in a nail salon um, forever ago. And I'm pretty sure this is the one that they gave me, but that's been years and years and that one obviously is not any good. This one is not any good either. This is a Revlon polish. This one. So we're gonna get rid of this one because it's definitely settled too much. This Kiss Polish, probably not any good. This one's settled also, not mixing up very well. Get rid of it. This is still good. This is like a nail treatment. This is a pretty LA Colors polish. The Wet n Wild Fast Dry was a good one way back in the day. Another Pure Ice. I might only have to use one thing which is crazy this is one of my favorite fall shades from the dollar store or this might have the gel line might have came from walmart oh my god avon bro this need this needs to go that's an ugly color anyway i don't know where that came from this blue not really a huge fan of this one i'll get rid of it this blue, oh God. I mean, she still mixes up fine. Oh, this is very, very thin and runny. We're getting rid of this one. This is another mini polish. She still seems fine. There's so many minis, like what? We'll put all the minis over here. The minis are the Nicole Miller brand from TJ Maxx. This is a really pretty color. That one's really pretty. Man, this one's a pretty one too. This one, these are really, really old. Yeah, and these are not mixing up. This one kind of is, but this one is not. I'm gonna have to get rid of this one. It's not mixing up. This is the brand De Deborah Littman. I don't know where that came from, to be honest. I don't know. Got another Wet n Wild Clear Coat. And that is it, y'all. I just have, oh, this is a crusty, dusty. Y'all, you see these freaking hairs? Ah, ah, that looks awful, bro. Oh, geez. Okay, getting rid of that. And then cuticle pusher. We got some tips 
from probably said nail salon. I have some nail clippers, a finger. <laughs> when I used to practice nails, I forgot about these. Oh my goodness. That's funny. All right, guys. So that there's literally a cotton ball in here, but that is the end of my makeup collection. I'll give you guys a close up. And I'm pretty sure I just said makeup collection when I definitely meant nail polish collection. So these are the ones I'm getting rid of. Um, we got a Sally Hansen that is bad. This LA Colors that I just don't really care for. The old Avon. Old Kiss that settled too much. A Revlon that settled. One of that one of those Deborah Lippman ones. Um, the one from the nail salon. I can't even make out what brand that is. And then another Kiss one that just won't mix up. And then that dusty freaking brush. <laughs> but anyways, this is what it looks like. I put all the mini ones, um, down here. So these all came from TJ Maxx and like sets around the holidays probably and they're really good polishes there's just not a whole lot in there because they're so small i got the clear coats a couple kiss polishes la colors um this one came from the dollar store dollar general i think broadway and then we have all the ones up here so i could fit Quite a bit of nail polishes in this um i don't really know how many total i have let me count real quick guys i literally have 66 nail polishes and i'm probably not going to stop buying them because i have a problem so yeah anyways this is just a really random video but i thought it would be cool to kind of show you guys how i organize stuff um this is that shelf that I got, ignore my clothes, cause I have a clothing rack right next to it, but it just looks so good there. And it was like literally the perfect size. So yeah, I'm so excited. I'm going to probably decorate it and stuff um, here in a little bit. So yeah, that is an ignore my laundry baskets. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. If you guys like random videos, please consider subscribing. Um, talk to me in the comments and let's become friends. Okay. Bye.